okay, and some committee things happening. Um, I did not get a picture of these folks this time. This is a their repeat performer, and uh, this is a sunnier day than that probably yesterday was. Thank you, Nick and Thank you, Nick Vanessa. Vanessa. I think Stephanie yeah, is on, on next? next week. And, and Sorry, then guys. just one change, when you pick up the food, the food is supposed to be picked up between 12 and 12.30. I had mm -hmm. it set for earlier, but now they've just put a window up from 12 to 12.30, so people know that, and I'll send out a message. Okay, great. Thank you. It's not that easy to send one person a private message, so you guys are right. I'll never do that again. Um, all right. And if she says no, then I'm stuck. Oh, okay. So we finished this fundraiser. We um, got a thousand dollars plus our mask sales are at about 500. So although I keep buying masks, so that keeps changing, but we have $1,500 or so to donate to um, a local group and Romy's working on working on that, get that to happen. So thank you everybody who helped out. Awesome. Um, if you don't have any, um, you might want to get some because I don't know how long, um, Barbara might retire from doing this. Who knows? But they're really beautiful. So, Pat, do you want to tell us about this project? I put some of the slides from um, Zebu in here um, about what this was. Yes. Uh, this is the world community like the last two years. Uh, about four years ago, we funded a, a School village in Pakistan, the Sari Zar School, the Sari Zar's Village School. It was a primary school, and the project was leaded. And uh, two years ago, they joined our, our Pakistan contact person and Pakistan Rotarian. Uh, suggested uh, we fund uh, building on a school that would pr provide uh, construction workers and volunteers and also volunteers from the, the Rotary Club in, in, in Pakistan that Zebu started and belongs to as well as she lives in Princeton, New Jersey now. So we and uh, several other Rotary Clubs help to make this addition possible. And uh, it's going to be servicing several hundred children from the village, girls and boys of, of equal proportions. So it's a very uh, progressive uh, addition, I think, to uh, helping to educate uh, pa Pakistan children that also uh, with girls in equal numbers. And uh, so th thank you everyone. We've all helped to fund this addition uh, together. Thank you, Howard. You're welcome. Yeah, it's pretty. And they have a little rotary sign out in front of the school. So that was kind of cool. Um, thank you for updating us on that project. Uh, we're still helping the Raven project with uh, menstrual products. If anybody would like to get those to Rebecca's home. And Rebecca, I don't know, if, are you here? I wanted to know if we have a deadline for that, but I would say there is no deadline until she tells me there is. There must be a deadline, but I can't make one up, so um, you can check with her to make sure she's still doing that. Um, also shoes, shoes for cats, but 
uh, actually shoes for humans. I, I took some shoes over there. I went for the, a walk the other day and I, I vaguely knew what the address was, but I, for some reason, just thought it was right next to um, uh, Jessica's house. So I marched up the hill carrying these, I was carrying two pairs of heavy, heavy boots. So, you know, so I was walking up there with this bag. And I go, this isn't right. What am I doing? So then I went back. Then I went over there and I and I saw this house. I go, that looks like that would be Alex's house. And but I wasn't sure. So I walked, you know, so I I did some weightlifting on my walk for a while carrying these boots. And I finally put them on a on her porch. And I it looks like I picked the right house. So um so she definitely uh is collecting those shoes. And if you have any that are in good shape wearable, drop them off. It's a pink house, nice big pink house. Pink Victorian, one block down from Wildberries on H Street, and they're collecting those until March 26. Okay, so we still have some time for that. Yeah. Oh, and this is, uh, I wanted to show you that, that, that my agency also does a, does a not too bad looking mask wearing, um, we've got that. And just as a reminder, let people know that um, this is a, this is advertising. I'll I'll put some money toward my Paul Harris. But this is um, we're still there. We're still doing things. We're still helping older adults, and um, and we need volunteers right now. If um, the challenge is getting getting people to their vaccine appointments, um, and um, all of our volunteer drivers haven't been vaccinated yet either, so they're hesitant to drive. Um, but anyway, we're, we're, we're working, we're moving things along. And if you ever need anything, any questions about older adults, services, anything like that, feel free to call us or call me, I guess, would probably be what you do. Feel free to call me. Reminder about um, some events that are at HSU that they're putting on there. And if you go to the website, there's a full calendar there. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, you know. Oh, hi Joyce. Hey Siri. Hi. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm driving in my car and I thought I was multitasking, but I obviously was taking this off mute. So, um, <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Good morning, Joyce. It's good to have you here. Drive safe. I will. Um, thank you. I'm now totally embarrassed. I'm glad you can't see my face. You, you shouldn't be embarrassed. It's called um, Zoom Life. Zoom <laughs> We've never had, we haven't yet had any real embarrassing Zoom situations on our, our meetings. So I think we're, we're doing pretty good. Um, but Joyce, look out for that Corvette. Will do. Now I see where the mute button is. I've learned something today. You could go home now. <laughs> you learn one I'm thing, you can take the day off. Yeah, I'm actually going into work and it's a court holiday, so. Um, that's my public service announcement to everybody. Thank you. And that means you might get some work done today. Correct. Uh, I'm sorry for interrupting. You guys have a wonderful morning. I'll be to work soon. That's all right. We're glad you're here. So, um, I was asked to let you know that Mary's selling Girl Scout cookies, but they're not here today, are they? No. no and Maggie, I'm not, and Mary's sleeping because she's a high school student and they're all sleeping because they you don't can't. have to get up to school until 8 45 a minute before school starts um but yeah i can send out the link this is her ninth year sending cookies they're all still five dollars except for the gluten-free are seven and the girl scout s'mores are seven but i can send out the link there's an online link and um, and essentially you click it we'll do free delivery they're not letting girl scouts do any live sales in front of stores this year at all um so uh, mary's got a cool 600 boxes she's almost halfway there and um it's super fun because we get to hang out in the car instead of like sitting outside in the cold in front of safeway for hours yeah and i have this i have this to share so um i don't know if you can scan this code uh from your home, we give it a try. Let me know. Scott's give it a try and see. Um, because I could, this was I couldn't put this into the slide deck, but um, this is the information and how you. All can, you gotta do is that uh, show your phone to whatever it is you're looking at on your screen, and it pops right up. Right. 
So if anybody wants to do that, if not, um, uh, uh, we will get that information from Rebecca. So now is a good time to buy cookies. That's what I, sadly, I, I believe that. But um, anyway. We, we appreciate the support. And like I said, we'll do free local delivery, parent approval. I approve it. Free local delivery. Oh, thank you. That's, that's cool. I think I should have to walk, if I'm going to get a box of cookies, I should have to walk to your house to get them.